This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Hello friends. Today we will learn about the exponents and power. In this chapter, we will learn about exponents, law of exponents. Then we will go to the decimal number system and then miscellaneous example and then expressing large number in the standard form. Now we will see why we are using exponents. If the number is 10,000, it's very easy to read 10,000. If we can put some more zero, we can put some more zero, we can put some more zero, it's very difficult to read this number so there is another way that is the we can write large number into the shorter form from using the exponents how we can do that that we can say 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 so how many zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so if we multiply by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we can write 10 raised to power 10. So this is the shorter form to write of this number. And or we can pronounce this number. Suppose there is a, you know, the mass of the earth. Mass of earth is... 5970 then 0 then 0 then 0 0 0 and then 0 this is this is the mass of the earth it's very difficult to read or write this number the best option is we know that how many zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 so we can write 5 9 7 0 k raised to power 21 so this is the way now if you can say is if you can write 10, 10 raised to power 4, we can read like that. Or if we can read 2 raised to power 4, that means we multiply 2 4 times. So 2 into 2, 4, 4 into uh, 2 8 8 into 2 16 so 16 you can write in this form or you can say you can make the factors like this way up to the 1 so this that means 2 raised to power 4 okay if we say that 10 raised to power 3 that means 10 is multiplied with 3 times 10 into 10 into 10 it comes 1000 or you can say 10 is to 3 if we can say 3 raised to power 3 that means 3 multiplied by 3 times so 3 3 is in 27 so 27 other you can write 3 is to 3 or 27 you can write and how we will get the in in the form of the exponential exponents how we can found in exponents that we can make what are the factors of 27 then like this one so this so how many factors 3 into 3 and we can say 3 raised to power 3 
I hope you can understand what is the meaning of exponents and power. Now we will solve some of the examples to understand more about these exponents and power. Thank you for watching this video.